It is Wednesday. It is November 15th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That means it's time for another installment of Southern Nevada Sports News coming to you from www.dbtv.com. My name is Bill Miller, co-host along with Jeff Belknap. And we are going to really get right into it. We have an in-studio guest. And, uh, you know, uh, this is uh, actually this is the first golf owner. Owner, yeah. That we've had the opportunity to have on the Southern Nevada Sports News Show. So we'd like to welcome Bob Allen of Bob Allen Golf. How are you doing today, Bob? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, also, uh, I'd like to, you know, also in studio uh, is uh, Bob Allen's lovely wife. Yes. Uh, Marie. Marie, how are you doing? Just fine, thank you. Thank All you right. very much. At some point, we might talk Marie actually into getting a, a little FaceTime here as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, uh, again, lessons. thank you very much. Uh, oh, and, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank you. Thank know, you. You've, uh, basically, your shop, Bob Allen Golf, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be over at 6415 South Fort Apache. That's correct. And anybody who's going to GPS is uh, 89148. Mm -hmm. But don't just correct. GPS it uh, just right. Uh, the store is being renovated. It uh, is. You've got a Target grand opening for when? The middle of December right now. Oh, yeah, nice. Don't have an exact day, but yeah, that's what we're shooting for. Okay. Time for Christmas. All yep. right. So um, have you always been in the golf game? Uh, obviously, I hope you're a golfer. I am a golfer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been playing since I was 11 years old. Okay. Yeah. I played for high school, played for college. Um, did a few things throughout my life. Uh, been living in Vegas for about 17 years and been working in the golf industry here in Vegas uh, for the last 10. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. So, so what uh, made you decide to take the plunge? Well, you know, I've worked for two big uh, corporations and um, got the knowledge of what it took. And I love the game so much. And uh, we just decided that we've owned businesses in the past. Let's do it. It's been a life dream. And it's starting to come together, and we're very excited about it. Well, awesome. you have to be. Uh, oh, absolutely. My goodness. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, uh, um, we both play. Um, I admit not very well, but I enjoy the game. And I actually really began to really enjoy it when I stopped taking it so seriously. Correct. You know, uh, yeah. I haven't thrown a club in <laughs> eight, seven or eight years. Oh, good. Uh, and it didn't help that the last time I think I threw my shoulder out. Yeah. Yeah. That'll happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and that kind of really, you know, it's like kind of telling me to, you know, all right, be cool, you know, enjoy the moment. But that's Absolutely. what it took. Yeah. And now I just enjoy being out there, you know, with some yeah. buds, uh, you know, enjoying uh, and just having a good time. So, well, buds, you mean yes. friends? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 I'm just <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. This is, this is Las Vegas. It is Nevada. That's Mom, right. Mom, that's he right. really meant his friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So I have also thrown clubs, and I think throwing clubs is okay as long as you you know retrieve them. But I've actually thrown a club in the water before. I've actually wrapped my club around the ball washer before. So I'm very experienced. I I, I feel very sorry for the ball washer. <laughs> <laughs> what well, stood its ground? It actually uh, took my club out, and yeah, yeah okay. it, it's not a lot of giving those. No, 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 it was it was pretty pretty secure. Yeah. yeah. So since both of us are experienced club throwers and breakers, <laughs> um, please tell me uh, you will be doing repairs. Oh yeah, we store. will be doing repairs. We will have a full okay. tour shop. <laughs> All right. Absolutely, we will build clubs for you. Um, Whatever you're going to need, reshafting, regripping, loft and lie angle adjustments, uh, anything you're going to need. Uh, we also are going to do full custom fittings. So we're very excited about uh, all of the different features that we have. Yeah, well, for somebody who's, uh, who's 6'4", mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, uh, you know, just before the show, I told you how important it was. Uh, for me to finally, after a, a number of years, actually get my clubs fitted. And it was just a huge difference in terms yes. of my posture, uh, my back, how it felt just, you know, once you come off of 18 holes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, so will uh, you also be uh, providing uh, PGA pros? We will. Right now we'll, we have two on staff. Fantastic. Uh, we're very excited about uh, them joining us, and uh, a lot of their knowledge and years' experience is, is really going to show itself with the with the customers. Okay, and we're going to obviously this is something we want people to get information out. Are you socially uh, on the social media? We are. We are. You can visit us at uh, at Facebook um, uh, slash uh, Bob Allen Golf. 
Okay. And yeah. is there a website? There is. It's BobAllenGolf.com. All right. Oh, I like it. Nice and simple. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, are you uh, uh, targeting a particular type of golfer, or is it just like the, the beginner? Uh, to someone who's uh, experienced and who's just looking to add yardage? Uh. No, that's a great question. We're going to actually help try to help everybody, from uh, youth golfers all the way up to senior citizens. Yeah, if you play golf, we're there to help you. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, you know, I, um, I admit sometimes I've been a little bit intimidated uh, by going to some of the larger chains. Yeah, uh, you know they they, they kind of look at me. Well, what's your game like? And I go, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, even though it's internet, it's pretty yeah. crappy. <laughs> but you know, but well, what business is of yours? Then I realize they're not trying to you know necessarily dog me, but you know, right? They're they're actually trying to find out exactly where you are so they can help tailor their decisions or help your decisions yeah. be easier to figure out. But again, everybody's different yeah. and um, an experience fitter which is what we have between the two PJ pros and myself, uh, there's some things that we know that you have to have done this for many years to understand what, what you're really looking for. Yeah, I, I got to believe that, um, much like me, typically people are going in there looking for a quick fix. It happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fix my game in five minutes or less, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I have yeah. the cash to pay for it if it's, if it's yeah. available. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, cash doesn't really talk when it comes to fixing a golf game, but, <laughs> but it, it can help. Simple, it can but... help. You give us a little bit more time, and, and yes, yeah. we can take care of that. Yeah. Do you find is there a common denominator that uh, you know, or that you find something? Maybe it's a simple fix in terms of what somebody is currently doing. Well, it, the swings are all different. Um, we focus on the clubs. We try to solve the problems that the clubs are creating. Right. Um, lessons are ultimately important um, along with the club fitting. If you can work with both of them, and um, our fix is a little quicker than the lessons. Lessons take longer, but mm -hmm. yeah, you can take all the lessons in the world, and if your clubs aren't fit, you're going to struggle. Uh, so most common is usually the lie angle of the club for most people and the length of the club are the biggest issues. Then we get into the flex of the shaft. The lie angle. Lie, on, lie angle on your irons are ultimately important for your flight direction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If the heel's digging in the ground, what happens is the face closes down and the ball goes left of your target. And vice versa, if the toe digs in, okay. the ball's going to go right of your target. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm just thinking the last time I was out there. and. Uh, mm hmm might explain a number of things. <laughs> it, you know, you'd be surprised how just an, a slight adjustment on a club at one degree can make all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, is there, is there a, uh, would you have like something along the line of maybe a trade or somebody wants to maybe trade in? An old set? We are. We are planning on accepting trades um, and they can use the value that we give them on the trade to purchase their equipment. Okay. You yeah. know? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I like it. So you'll, uh, you're going to actually do all the training at the facility? We're going to do all the training okay. at the facility as far as um, the customers come in, uh, the PGA pros will set that up with them okay. uh, for lessons. Uh, all the fittings and everything will be done at, at the facility. Um, it, what we try to focus on is when you come in to do a club fitting for a new purchase, we want to order the clubs right from the manufacturer with your specifications. That is the ultimate because the factory will actually build them for you. Wow. They don't just send out a standard set. They'll make them longer. They'll adjust the lie angle. They'll whatever we give them, whatever the specs are. That's how they'll build the clubs. Oh, nice. Well, oh, you know, I mean, I'm 60, so clearly <laughs> since um, you know I first began kind of you know, swinging the club, the technology has changed considerably. Greatly. And I don't buy clubs very often because mm -hmm. you know I don't know. I, I kind of get used to them, so I kind of think that maybe this is what what I have, but. Um, uh, do you have technology in terms of like a simulator? Uh, I've had, we do. You know, seen those at you know some places, but I just have little right. or no knowledge about them. Well, as simulators, there's there's all kinds of simulators. Uh, there's a lot of great products on the market. Um, a lot of your big chains uh, focus on on the Foresight system, which is uh, it's one of the top leaders in the industry. We chose to go with Full Swing Golf. Um, Full swing golf simulator actually is a dual radar system where all of your other uh, manufacturers pick the ball up at impact and they simulate the information based on that split second contact with the club. The full swing system not only does that, but it picks the ball up mid flight. So now it's taking the true launch angles and spin numbers of the balls, what's going on, and now you can actually get calculated down to the exact information of what's going on, oh, wow. which allows us to fit you even better than what some of the other simulators are offering. So we're excited about that. 
Uh, these are the same simulators, uh, the full swing that uh, in Tiger Woods has in his home, Jordan Spieth has in his home, Jason Day, I mean Jim Furyk. These these are fantastic golfers, and you you got to figure they're going to have the best. That's what they're going to practice on. Yeah, yeah. Um, in <laughs> fact, Jordan Spieth in in his video, there. Yeah, there is. He even says that he can actually play the golf course of a tournament coming up in his home, so he can sort of prepare his strategies and things like that. So that is. it so, is. So how many? courses are generally available on these um they range basically on what package you go with i believe we have 12 championship courses on the simulator um the simulator is really designed for people to try the clubs and yeah. allow us to do a, a proper fitting right. um we plan on having an in-store events where we might have a closest to the pin or oh, long nice. drive or something <laughs> like that uh that we're going to do now and then um hopefully more than not and have some nice giveaways for everybody so do you put on the simulator as well you can put on the simulator okay. we will have an actual putting green in the store also but you can put <laughs> if you play the golf you can actually put so i can come That's down here and practice <laughs> come on in we'll take care of you absolutely absolutely we're That's very excited long, long yeah. lesson for me i think in the putting I mean, it's, it's well there's some keys to that remember not just irons and drivers and fairways need to be fit but your putter is ultimately the important to have that fit to you i never even thought about that yeah there's yeah. some stuff that goes into a putting stroke and uh, if that club is wrong i don't i don't care what you do you're not going to have a, a, a good putting day. well i'm pretty sure my putter is wrong yeah. If you're, I, yeah, if you're, if you're blaming you're, the putter, I yeah, well, absolutely you know what, I, I'm all for you blaming <laughs> the product first because that sends you into me. I've so. already got a note to self uh, to bring that rascal down there, and uh, so you can, you know, chew you it out or do whatever. You absolutely, do, uh, you know, head Destroy design. Really. Head design is ultimately important for you. Every individual is different, and what head design will benefit them. You know, length of the club, the lie angle of the club. All of that goes into it on a putter. Yeah, I knew there had to be something wrong with my yeah. putter. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. the putter. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's all the putter's fault. It here. Yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. man owns the store. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, it's so it's all the putter's fault. Thank you. you know, yeah, come on in, and we'll we'll get you set up. And uh, we plan on having uh, as many of the manufacturers uh, that's available out there. Um, so we're excited about all the vendors coming on board, and, and uh, they're backing for us. And and it, it's it's. A, it's a wonderful thing. Well, it really is. Yeah. So more, more than the clubs, I mean, what are the other products that will be for sale? We'll be carrying men and women's clothes, apparel, shoes, um, accessories, uh, gloves, balls, tees. I mean, basically everything you're going to need. Golf bags. Um, all the items you're going to need to go out and play golf. And uh, we're the big box store, but we're small and we're family owned we're locally owned so you keep your your money in town yeah, and yeah. um that's, that's, that's we want people all. to feel comfortable coming into the store and knowing that we're going to know who they are on the when they keep coming back like family and they'll know the faces when they walk into our store well i like the idea of being able to walk in and know the owner yeah uh, yeah right off the bat yeah absolutely yeah, so. absolutely so it's it's so, I, I can't say enough about it so one of the biggest issues always with golf is um people cheating obviously yeah. So, do you have? Is there a way, or is it? There's just no other way, right? This guy, they have to be honest. I used to play golf with these guys. <laughs> hey, what you what you do when you take them back behind a tree has nothing to do with us. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'd, I'd I'd be playing with a guy. I'd be like, "Hey, what'd you get?" And he'd be like, five And I'd be like, five. Yeah, "Wait a minute!" That's how you. I saw the three, like in the woods yeah, over there. What about know? that? The, the three yeah. kicks that you made coming yeah, out exactly. of the trees, right? You, yeah. you know, I've always uh, just look whatever people tell me I, I write down mm -hmm. you know and then you know I try to tell other people you know oh, this is what I have I know I've been pencil whipped on a number of occasions <laughs> absolutely and oh, you just, lost by one stroke yeah, right. just, oh yeah listen you know you, you just lost and I go oh huh huh oh, okay <laughs> is that right? Oh, yeah right. all right no yeah, this is how you handle happen. that when you go to the 19th hole which is the restaurant afterwards right you order your food and then you just leave. <laughs> you can't pay for it. You, you eat, Excuse and me. Be like, hey, I'll be right back. I go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. And yeah. You get your car and you leave. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's, that'll that, fix that. That's, that's you know what? It's it's a game that. Uh, had so much integrity and yeah. it still does for the most part but you know you'll get the guys that winning is more important than than playing by the rules but you know that's with anything that's yeah. anything you do so uh, i mean golf it's it's got so many great things about it and the youth that are coming up right now and the etiquette that they're learning and what golf teaches yeah. there's no other sport that actually in my opinion that uh, compares 
to what uh, golf has it, to it's, offer. It's one of the few sports where you impose penalties on yourself. Absolutely. Right. Where you're supposed to. When you see it. Not only when somebody yeah. sees you, but when you, you know. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, if I, you know, tell somebody, what do you got in the hole? Shh, Jesus, you know, I got a seven. And they kind of look at you kind of funny, but like, would I lie about a seven? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> a five? <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm going to lie about a double bogey on a par five. Yeah, yeah that makes well, yeah. What about those three you hit in the lake? Yeah. Right. You yeah. Know. I say, listen, hey, you know, I'm, I'm straightforward, but I know I've been pencil whipped. I absolutely know I've been pencil whipped. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And uh, just to remind everybody, where uh, is the location uh, uh, for Bob Allen Golf? 6415 South Fort Apache. Yeah, it's 89148 is the zip, and the cross street is Sunset. Yeah. And Bob Allen Golf, because it's Bob Allen Golf, and it is. In the bag. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, just the easy part, a way of getting there, 215, exit west. Mm-hmm. On Sunset. Fort Apache's the first street. Mm-hmm. Right out of the northwest corner, you can, right behind Walgreens. It's right right behind Walgreens. It's on, yeah, the, the uh, southwest uh, corner. So, no, sorry, northwest corner. northwest corner. You had it right. I had it wrong. Yeah. Um, and you can't miss us. I mean, right, right there with Walgreens, easy to see. You'll see our signs. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know, and, and I live in the area, which is great. I, I, I like that little area there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very quiet. Hopefully, they'll be done with the construction by the time you're... <laughs> by the time we open our doors, absolutely. Actually, I, I saw that they actually paved it yesterday, so hopefully that'll be opened up pretty soon. Yeah. Well, that'll be nice. It'd be nice to be able to drive down there and not yeah. have to go... It's only been, what, four or five years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so we timed it right. We timed it right. You actually did time it right. Yeah. I will, I will. Now, rumor has it, and I've heard from a few people, if you stay in the fairway... Yeah. As opposed to out in the woods, trees, mm-hmm. and traps... Mm-hmm. And you, know, you will actually improve your score. <laughs> it's remarkable how that kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, it's, it's tips like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know. You know. I haven't taken it to heart, <laughs> but <laughs> so, but I've heard these things. It, it, it's it's funny how that game works like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I played at uh, the, uh, and I understand that the course out in Henderson. Uh, they're actually that course is reopening that it closed uh, legacy i think it legacy was yes course, yeah yeah that's what i just heard too and uh, i really enjoy playing out yeah. of that course and they have that tough course uh, yeah and they, of course they have that uh, that picturesque hole with the uh, uh, playing cards card suits, yeah playing card suits number 11 actually yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. but uh, it was uh, it's tough but it's also very fair right you know and i was very disappointed that they had actually closed that yeah. But I understand that they are looking to, to, to reopen that soon. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I really am because we had quite a few lately that have shut down that shouldn't have. But, you know, that's that's the way it works. Yeah, Angel Park, both courses, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the, the Mountain and the Palm. Right. Uh, are, are both, again, they're tough, they're challenging, but they're also forgiving at the same time. Right, you right. Know, you're, you're getting a fair shake. Yeah. Now, Badlands was obviously designed by um, a sadist. Who, you know, and we were talking about that before the show. Uh, the uh, Ron Williams, uh, his thing about his shtick on golf. You know, mm-hmm. saying, yeah, we'll put the hole in there. Give him hope. <laughs> give him put the flag the in the flag. Hole. Yeah. yeah. Give him hope. Just to give him hope. Yeah. Right. And it, it's I lost so many golf balls. Badlands would would do that to you from you know from right. you know, my my buddies. Yeah. That's what you call the true target golf course. Yeah. <laughs> and if you play for locations and not try to beat the ball off the tee, 300 yards, that's what gets you in trouble out there. Just take right. an iron off the tee if you have to. Yeah. yeah. Just keep it in play. Well, I can tell you this. When you you brought up, I think Bill brought up the worst golf courses, that golf course literally almost pushed me into retirement. <laughs> because I, I literally alone. had I bought a box of balls. Right. And at the end of the round, I had two balls left. Yeah. And I will tell you that was my least favorite. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, it really. I mean, I it's was like, th- this is this is yeah. terrible. I mean, it, and like when you lose the ball there because of the rocks, the ball is really gone. You know, it's not like just find it. You're going to go find it. Like you can pull a ball out of water or whatever. These balls are gone. Oh yeah, yeah, they're history. Yeah, you know. That's why people play the yellow golf ball, so they can find it faster when it's in the desert. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. Well, I can tell you a quick golf story. I actually played the Shriners course before. I was okay. invited um, I was invited to a friend's house during the Shriners, and he lives right on the fourth tee. So he, um, after everyone had got done playing, they, they cleaned up and everything. Sun was going down. He's like, hey, let's go play these holes. You know. So basically you play up. You play four and then back three, and then you're back at his house, right? So I get out there, and this 
smash at about 300 the first time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't know where the pin is. Right. Right. And then I six putt. Right. <laughs> okay. After, after getting on in two. Okay. So he said, when's the last time you played? I said, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago. So we get on three, I tee up, I smash it again right down the middle. He's like, yeah, okay. You know, mm -hmm. I get up again uh, in two, but they're both par fours, and seven putt. <laughs> And part of it was because you don't know where the pin is. I mean, you don't know where the hole the is. Flags no weren't, the yeah, flags weren't in, right? They took them, they out, take yeah. them out. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to chip up there and I'll find it. And then it's over in the opposite corner, you know. So, T uh, and Bader would kind of like walk up and go, oh, there it is. Oh, there, there it is. is. Well, I mean, when you're 100 yards away, you know, or, <laughs> yeah. you know, 80 yards okay. away or whatever. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, I had a lot of fun out there. And it that is a is fun a course. course. It is, yes. As well. And, uh, you know, I've been lucky to play some uh, some pretty good rounds. Yeah. But uh, Nationals, my, the one that my go-to place. National, yeah. Play. Yeah, the old Sahara course. Yeah. Yeah, great track. Yeah, I like that. And, and partly because it was the only eagle that I've ever had. That's so, why you like it, huh? Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. <laughs> one eagle. I right. Take it. Yeah, yeah. What's the one over on... Um, yeah, that is national. Yeah, the that, one idea. That runs yeah. also uh, along uh, Eastern. Eastern, yeah. yes. Part of it is uh, Eastern. Yeah, Sorry. it there's so much history over there. You know, if you've yeah. never played there, just go there and then just have a hamburger. Uh, you know, in a restaurant. You know, right. The, the pictures of you know of all of the you know uh, the entertainers that have come through and played, the professionals um, over the years. It's where they used to hold yeah. the tournament. And yeah. it's uh, it's a beautiful, still a very beautiful course. It oh, is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, it's the old link style course, so yeah. it's, it is very nice. And uh, but one of the nicest courses I ever played at uh, was actually yeah, it's a bit of a drive is uh, out on Prem mm -hmm. uh, in the fifteen mm -hmm. Prem Valley. Yeah, did uh, you I play mean, the lakes or the desert course? Uh, it was the uh, lakes course. Yeah, that's that was uh, the nicest because of the all the water and things. That, in my opinion, now, I like the lakes. There's a rumor, and because I don't trust some of my friends, they they'll tell me <laughs> things and they know I'll eat it up. Okay. But that the designer who designed that also designed the course um, off of uh, Craig, the uh, private course uh, where the uh, Michael Jordan uh, oh, invitational um, is. Uh, Shadow Creek. Okay, yeah. yeah that's it. Sorry Shadow about Creek. that. I had to. I had to. This helped me think on that one right there. <laughs> well, I, you know, I didn't know. It, so that's, <laughs> I appreciate. It's gonna bring it to yourself. Yeah. So yeah, I had to go. But somebody told me that actually the architect was uh he built that but it was on the uh i guess steve Wynn mm -hmm. designed that he would not design a similar course in las vegas but apparently prim valley the lake course is very similar and based on that design to shadow creek it yep. was far enough out of town where that, he wasn't going to get sued right now is well, that true to be honest with you i don't know the answer to that okay that's the first time i've ever heard that well, it would if it's true, it'd be the first time one of these guys actually told me a story that, you know, <laughs> on the up and up. But yeah, um, yeah it is actually a, a beautiful course, and again, it's it's a bit it of a drive, but yeah. worth it. You know, it is absolutely worth it. And even on yeah. a warm day, there's enough uh, trees and enough shade. You know, you don't feel like you're, you know, you're just getting really beat down. Right. Right. But there's the um, I think it's the eleventh hole, maybe you know, maybe the tenth, where you're in front of the uh, the gallery, the, uh, the the restaurant, and you're hitting over water, uh, and uh, but everybody eating, or everybody just hanging out, is watching you. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm go up, and uh, you know I figure, well, let me just get this over with and hit it in the water, and just drive over and drop it. Now, actually, pow! Got out there. Not long, but in the fairway. Right. You know, and it was probably about maybe you know, two forty. You know, felt, you know okay. just like you know, whew. so no laughter, no, or like that. Yeah. <laughs> you're, then you're good. You're and, good. And you know, in fact, a little, you know, hey, you know. And so, uh, one of my buddies, uh, it's actually, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm sorry. It is John from our, you know, our, our buddy, Sarabia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. John Sarabia, who is a very good golfer. He's really the best as far as the coaches that we know, football okay. coaches that plays. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm just thinking that John in there. And uh, we were also playing with his dad, who shoots it usually in, like, the, the low 80s, upper 70s. John usually shoots in the 70s, upper mm -hmm. 70s. John put two in the water. 
and was just ready to hunt bear. <laughs> Nobody said a thing, and his father was like, "Mijo, you okay? You know, just leave it dead. Just leave it. Let's just get in here, get in the car, and get the hell out of here." And uh, I had never seen him that frustrated, but I, I just knew I was going to put mine in the drink. Well, see, so you already committed to just do it, and that's why you didn't. You relaxed. Yeah, right. You took the pressure usually. off yourself. Yeah, right. yeah, and that's what that's what golf is. I, I, I absolutely have got to try that again. In, in well, the, the, the biggest thing when you step up on the first tee during a tournament, they they announce you in tournaments. You know, now on the tee, and immediately everything starts to go to rubber. You know, especially if it's not something you do on a day to day basis, like the guys on tour. I'll say. So, you know, the whole thing you got to focus on is really lighten your grip, relax, breathe out, and just get real fluid with it don't try to tense up don't try to hit it hard just make contact and you'd be surprised how many times even if the ball flight's not pretty you're still going to probably be okay that's the one thing to focus on because when you hear your name announced it changes things <laughs> that's that's probably not ever going to happen for me. <laughs> well that's the that's the beauty about playing in uh you know like you know tournaments but um uh shotguns Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, because you're staggered, and so you're starting it. So not everyone is gathered at the first hole, you know, right. waiting for you to go over there and make a fool out of yourself. Right. You can do it way out there, where there's only a handful of people watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, the last time that I went, it was a fundraiser, and at every hole there was people there serving drinks. Mm-hmm. So by about the twelfth <laughs> hole. My game was like in the dumps, <laughs> but I had a good time. We we really had a good time. Oh, I ended up Ubering home, and uh, it was interesting. Well, yeah, I, the last uh, real scramble I played at, you know, I'm in transportation, and uh, uh, for some reason, there's uh, there's they tend to just be out al- these alcohol fueled events, and mm-hmm. uh, there was these uh, two ladies uh, from a Brazilian steamship line. So draw your own conclusions. <laughs> I already have, right? <laughs> and uh, th- they had that. You know, shot cart. You know. Oh yeah. At, it was this was, and it started like eight thirty in the morning, and you know, and so they were, you know, and then we see these guys, you know, because you could kind of see them later on. You know, they're Hee! they're heading down the. <laughs> these two bozos actually drove into a sand trap, and one of the guy was like VP of sales for this carrier that I won't mention, um, <laughs> broke his leg. Ooh, Ooh. that's yeah. not good. Cart turned, flipped, and threw yeah. him out. And then somebody said, "Yeah, they had, you know, they had hit that uh, that shot cart from like minute one, and then they were, you know, pounding beers the rest of the time, you know." Well, the good thing is he didn't feel his leg snap though. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we were wondering, do you hear a siren? Yeah, it seems to be getting closer. And they said, "There it goes." And then uh, we kind of just pulled out that way. And they said, "Yeah, did you yeah. hear?" And I'm like, "No." And he was like, "Yeah." Yeah, um, yeah they can and, get a little crazy. And now, uh, and speaking of getting pencil whipped, it, you're really going to get pencil whipped at a scramble. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless you come in there with like 15 under. And you, sometimes that's not enough. That's not enough. You know, we were yeah. like six under. You know, we, there was enough guys, and we were putting enough balls, and we weren't even close. No. Yeah, and then we're just like, you got to be kidding me. I know, I know. We we love those things because you go up to the the winning group that shoot fifty four, and you go and you go, hey, right now let's go out nine holes. Let's let's yeah. let's go at How it. How much money you got in your pocket? And the, yeah. Next thing you know, they're out the back door. So yeah, yeah. yeah you know. you're on. You know, okay. but you always have to rib them because you know eighteen under par on eighteen holes. Is, that's great. You know, yeah. that's that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Well, unless they know. bought a lot of mulligans or something. Right. Yeah. Well, I always buy the mulligans. Well, you know, if you're gonna have fun, you yeah, know, I that's mean, why yeah, you're out. Yeah, there, absolutely. So. And you yeah. know, and it was for a worthy cause too. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it, it was, and we, you're having fun. You know, if you're with the right group of guys, you right. know. I, I'm not going to play with guys who, you, you know, couldn't you at least get it, you know. Like, you know hold up, hold up. You know, wait yeah, they're a taking it too seriously. Yeah. Well, you're not yeah. playing I'm for sorry. I didn't realize that you were trying out for, you know, the senior tour. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this, that when they use one of my balls, I'm usually pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That, that's always my, my goal is like, wow, they used my ball. Right. You contributed. Your day's done now. You, you, the pressure's off. Yeah, it's usually that because putt. their shots are really bad, not that I had a good shot. Or you can nail that putt or you see it going and just say, pick them up, boys. Right. Yeah. And you got that, that baby's in there. Yeah. There you go. I did you know, that when for you the were, team. You were, 
you were talking about golf courses, and, and there is one golf course, and I don't, a lot of people aren't really aware of it, but it's called Cascada. It's actually on the way into Boulder City. And if you haven't heard of it, you probably haven't seen it. Uh, it used to be completely private for the MGM. I think somebody else owns it, and one of the other hotels owns it now. But uh, when you drive out there, you go to the gate, and it says Cascada, and it looks like you, it's somebody's home. The, the way well, the gate actually, is. Uh, kind it's Country Club, and wow. actually their their uh, uh, restaurant and pro shop was voted one of the top ten in the nation at one point. It's got yep. an actual like waterfall and river running through it. Really? Yeah, and um, no matter what hole you're on, you will never see another golfer on another hole, the way it's designed. And it, it is actually a phenomenal course in itself. And I'll give you one tip. Never hit your ball into the green and, and put it above the hole. You, you talk about, want to be below. Yeah, you want to always be below the hole. Because yeah. I'm telling you, you think you've had four off. putts? Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> that's but that's, that's a, that's a great you. course, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it really fun. is. Well, there are actually a couple of uh, uh, Boulder courses. Uh, I think there's Boulder Muni and then... Uh, and then Boulder Creek. Boulder Creek. Yeah, yeah, Boulder Creek has 27 holes on it. Yeah, and I've played uh, at uh, Boulder Muni. Yeah. And it's it's a nice course. It They're is. Very, a lot again, of fun. Again, a manageable course. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and it's it's relatively easy to get on and off. You know, right. you're not going to spend an eternity out there, uh, which is really good. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But and uh, it's you know. price right. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Well, Bob, we really appreciate you being in, and uh, I and, really and, and just remind people of your social media and your website. Uh, BobAllenGolf.com, and you can find us on uh, Facebook at Bob Allen Golf, and okay. uh, again, the address is six four one five South Fort Apache. Port Apache and Sunset. And Sunset, 89148. All right. You know, remind us about the, the opening room where you get the rock solid date because I, I definitely want to come. to. The I will. Opening. And anybody that goes to our website right now, um, you can sign up to get on our newsletter. Okay. And that way okay. it, you'll get the announcements as we go forward and we get closer and we know exactly what's going on. Okay. Perfect. All okay. right. Well, well listen, um, we um, – like to talk about sports and uh -huh. um, you know and you're certainly we would welcome you to stick around and uh, I'd like to get your opinion I mean are you a football fan uh, you know what uh, not anymore used to be but I've been so busy I couldn't tell you what's going on out there yeah. right now uh, but you I, played collegiate golf I did yeah where'd you play college or it was actually at a, at a uh, junior college in Southern California was it El Camino by any chance no it was Valley wow. Valley College in the San well, Fernando Valley Camino, so. okay <laughs> all right all right I yeah. grew up in SoCal Okay. So uh, you know the the JCs are you right. know, they're, they're they're plentiful and right. uh, yeah so okay yeah yeah well you know we uh, then what we're gonna do is uh, we might as well just get the questions to them right now yeah okay you mentioned okay. excuse me I'll be back I'll yeah, <laughs> that, yeah lock that door John <laughs> lock that yeah. door all right okay. and uh, so we we ask this of people uh, you know who come in on the show and it basically has to do with NFL football okay. and predictions okay and what we'd like for you to do. Is to predict to us the uh, the upcoming Super Bowl. Okay. Who will represent the NFC and who will represent the AFC? Okay. He's going to ask me an NFC. So AFC we're going to go NFC. with first. Start uh -huh. with the NFC. Like I said, I am. Dun, dun, dun. It's been so long since I've been paying attention. Who's on which division? Um, what are the Saints on? NFC. Okay. Yep. There, there, there's my pick. Okay. Is the Saints good, not a that's bad a, pick? A great okay. Pick. My, uh, my youngest son Jay is a diehard Saints fan. Okay. We're, we're, we're LA oh, homeboys. Bless okay. You. Yeah. And uh, when the Rams uh, escaped or you know left LA, right? Uh, we you know just picked the other teams. I picked the Tampa Bay Bucks. Okay. He picked the New Orleans Saints, and he's been a Saints fan ever since. Okay. But they're red hot right now. That's they a are. Good pick. They are. So Saints and the AFC. Um, what are the Raiders? They're AFC. There you go. I've always been a Raiders fan. Okay. Always have been a Raiders fan. Are you excited about them coming to Vegas? Uh, you know what? I am so excited about them showing up to Vegas. I think this is great for our town, and I think it's oh, going to be great for them. I do, and too. And finally, they're going to get in a stadium that's actually suited for them. I remember when they moved to the Coliseum, because yeah. I was living in L.A. at that time. I was down there, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, they just they needed a, a better better uh, stadium yeah. and yeah, now they're absolutely. getting and going back to oakland was not the uh, not the solution no i've been to uh, to oakland uh, stadium within the last five years it's, it's just it's it's an old stadium right yeah it is but all right so you've got uh, new orleans and oakland presently it's going to mm -hmm. be las vegas in the super bowl who's going to win it all well you know what 
I'm going to go with the Raiders. All right. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I don't even know where they are, what their standings are right now, because I know we're getting close. Are they even close to even making it? I have no idea. I used to do some fantasy football with some of my guys, but I am a fan. There you go. You know? I like it. Absolutely. So. All right. Okay. You had to ask me football? Yes. (laughs) Well, okay, so here's a golf one. Who's your favorite golfer? Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan. Mm -hmm. What about current golfer? Current golfer, uh, I actually like Jason Day. Okay. Yeah, I think Jason Day is super talented. I mean, you know, Jordan Spieth, again, same. Uh, but I think Jason Day, we're going to see a lot of adding him in the, in the coming years. That's no, I, yeah, I think that it's, it's become a young man's game yeah. very quickly. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's like every week you look at some of the names and go, I don't remember this guy. Yeah. You know, and I, I don't know this guy. Uh, but uh, it is extremely competitive. No one is dominating. No, any one of them can win at any time on that's yeah. out there on that tour right yeah. now. Yeah, and just their ability to you know hit the ball the way they do. Right. Uh, you know, it's just unreal. Uh, I mean, you know, see these guys on coil. You know, some three hundred and sixty yard. Yeah, it's drive, amazing. You know. Yeah. It's amazing. Just but if you pick notice, pick up the tee and then start walking. I notice, never pick up the tee and start walking. But sometimes they catch it in midair. The tee's flying back in the air. They just grab it and. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but I have. That's just it's showing happened. off. It is showing it's off, but wrong. it looks good though. Yeah, it does look good. Off. So yeah, this make me feel bad. That's yeah. all it's designed to do. <laughs> people like me to run out there and try and duplicate it and right. end up hitting ourselves in the head or something. Like <laughs> well, our busiest day is right after the uh, Masters weekend. You know, it's no comes doubt. Out and, yeah, in the U.S. Open. I, you know, I. Uh, that's when you usually used to see like sales would pop up. Mm-hmm. It would be during majors. Oh yeah. You know, and yeah. uh, you know, and I would like, huh? You know, for a while I was on the shoe jack, you know, and I'd go down there and, you know, and pick up a pair of shoes, you know, and say, oh yeah, everything like that, you know. Yeah. And I should have been picking up a putter uh, that <laughs> well, actually worked. A putter, and, and here's something else to remember: there is maintenance on golf clubs. Okay. Changing the grips on a regular basis, very important. And your in your cleat, your uh, spikes in the shoes, yeah, very important. Yeah. Well, Gotta I know mine will never wear out. I've got too many pair. Okay, and gloves. Gloves. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Keep that glove nice and fresh, because you know how sometimes you know, they leave in your golf bag, you take it out, and it's crispy. like a rock. Yeah, it's a little crispy. <laughs> and you put it on, and you figure after a little of those oils, and your hand get in it or softens it up. No, get rid of it. Just get rid of get it. Get rid of it. I, I can do that. Yeah, I, but I, those, those are the things. Well, I'll definitely be bringing my putter in, Bob. Perfect. And I, you know, and absolutely, I can't wait for the store to open, uh, to go down there and do Thank some you. shopping. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, hobnob with the owner. Uh, you know, and uh, but uh, thank you so much for it's my pleasure coming in and joining absolutely. us. And we hope that you'll be a friend of Southern Nevada Sports. Oh, absolutely, yeah. uh, no doubt to it. We'll uh, we'll be signing on and watching you guys all the time. And just keep in mind that at Bob Allen Golf, it's in the bag. It's in the bag, right. folks. Remember. Remember. Okay, right. thank you so thank much. Thank you again. Appreciate oh, it. Bob Allen of Bob Allen Golf. And thank uh, you, everybody. Looks like the opening in for mid December. So uh, you know, if you've Sorry. got somebody for your Christmas list and somebody's okay. looking to. You know, maybe get a new putter and make sure they get the right one. Uh, some attire, <laughs> Bob Allen Golf, 6415 South Fort Apache on Sunset. We're looking for a mid-December opening on that. Bob, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks again, so. guys. I appreciate it. All yes, right, sir. thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to take a break, break, and then when we come back, uh, we're going to get to the uh, upcoming picks for the week from our prognosticator himself, Jeff the Rascal Belknap. Southern Nevada Sports News coming to you from www.dbtv.com. We'll be right back. Crazy Terry here with your car care tip of the day. Today's tips on cooling systems. This vehicle's got about 182,000 miles on it, so if you're checking the coolant, check the hoses too. Just feel them and see if they're soft or any signs of fatigue for the mileage on it. They don't feel bad. They look like they're still the original hose, but you want to make sure you don't go too long with these hoses because they will eventually deteriorate, cause a problem. In this case, this car's got a, a visible leak. The customer brought it to us. We'll pop the hood and check the cooling system. First, we just relieve any pressure that might be on the cap. Remove the cap. Take a look inside. We see it's kind of low. Now we'll start our inspection. What we found on this one is the top tank is leaking. It's got a crack in it. Pretty common for these plastic radiators to do that. We want to get to a shop right away because severe engine damage can result from overheating condition like this. 
In this case, it was pretty easy to see the crack was right on the top tank. But a lot of times we'll have to pressurize the system to locate the exact leak. Could be a hose in the back, could be underneath. Some of these are hard to find. But in this case, a very common leak, the top tank. When we're testing a cooling system, it's okay to use just water, but you want to make sure when you're filling it up properly, it's a 50-50 mix of antifreeze and water. It needs the water to make the chemical work, so don't just put straight antifreeze. 50-50 mix is the best way to go. Keep it clean, keep it rust free. So as you can see, we got a pretty active leak. We gotta get this fixed, so there's gonna be some engine problems. If you're gonna top off your own coolant, it's really not that hard. If you got a radiator cap, just make sure it's not hot. Take the cap off and take a look. In this case, we're pretty full here, but what we have is the overflow jugs empty. So we'll just add that. Once again, check your manufacturer specs to make sure what type of coolant you have. In this case, we're using the good old green. There's gold, there's red, there's yellow, all types out there. Just want to make sure you're staying with your manufactured recommended coolant. And that's really all there is to it. The cooling system is a major component. You'll want to service that regularly. If you have a problem, it could be too late and cost you thousands of dollars. If ever you have a problem, come into Sun Valley Automotive. It's no charge to look at your cooling system. This is Crazy Terry with your car care tip of the day. We are back. The Knockout Round, Southern Nevada Sports News, coming to you from WWDBTV.com. My name is Bill Miller, co-host along with... Jeff Belknap. And it is time for Jeff the Rascal Belknap's Picks of the Week. So, Jeff, tee us up, buddy. Whew, man. Where to start, huh? Yeah, there's um, there's some really good action this week. Um yeah, last week was better. You, you guys know that the week before I was one in or zero and seven. So, so was, how was last week? Uh, when you, um, when I went five and five and two last week. Okay. Yeah. So right. it was a little bit better, a little recovery, and it's always good to win a little bit of money back. But um, this uh, this week, there's a couple of games that are that kind of stand standing out to me, and it's mainly because there's some teams that just are really not playing well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really a huge like betting the road uh, favorites, which right. the home dogs usually will, will come through. Right. But there's two games in particular that I really like. Um, the first one is Iowa State, who's um, played a couple of shockers this year. Oh, and, yeah. And, and played Just some. TCU in Oklahoma. Yeah. Not, knocked off two solid squads. Um, only laying nine and a half to Baylor at Baylor. I think it's a little bit of a low spread. Um, you know, they probably would be laying 20 if they were at home. So um, Baylor's just really shown me nothing this year, and, and surprisingly I was poor. Ask you, they are they're shockingly bad. Yeah, very bad. Is this the possibility though that uh, a team that could sneak up on Iowa State? Is this at Baylor for starters? It's at Baylor. So this um, is probably homecoming. I would say senior day. I would. Say, it is senior day. Yeah. I would say that that's a possibility, but right. it's not very likely. <laughs> okay. Because I waited, I've actually waited for them to do that a couple of different times this year, right? Which they have not done, so I'm going to say no to that. Um, another one that I really, just another team that just is really not that good is Oregon State. No, they're not. And Oregon State's really, um, I don't even know what the best way to describe them. They're they're the worst Oregon State team that I've seen in a while. Um, playing Arizona State, who's a you know mid mid-round you know in the pac-12 team yeah but um i'm just i'm banking on the fact that that um oregon state really is that bad so this going to lay the seven points in that game tough year for oregon schools oh yeah well oregon's actually a better team you know than oregon state but just not the level that they're used to yeah so this is a school that is you know perennial you know at least bowl pick, right? Major bowl. Let me rephrase that because just about anybody can get into a bowl these days, right? They'll probably make a bowl. Well, I mean, that, and that's another one of the reasons why I like Arizona State in this game. Um, they are five and five, so they do need one win. One win. Um, another game I like is uh, I actually like UNLV against um, New Mexico. Um, that game's actually on Friday, and uh, not Saturday, but uh, Lena two and a half points. They're pretty much in a must-win 
situation in order to get into the the bowl picture. Well, it was a, a another disappointing loss. Yeah. Um, to uh, to BYU. Um, you know, um, any. Uh, I would really like to see UNLV qualify for a bowl, uh, but they're going to need this to, to to get to 500. Yeah. Um, are they? Uh, they play they play uh, Reno well, the last game. So if they win this week, they play Reno, which is probably one of their worst Reno teams that we've seen in a while. Yeah. So I mean, they basically they have a good opportunity if they can win this week. It was also one of the worst BYU teams we've seen in a while. Too. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but I and again, I I think that for Sanchez and his program, I think they need to get these 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 last two. Yeah. And and qualify for a, a bowl. It would have been easier, I, I think it'd be obviously, great. if they had beaten. But can't talk about what they've done. But um, you know, this is a team that has improved, uh, and they do have some significant injuries. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um, so is uh, is UNLV going in as a favorite or two and a half point favorite? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I kind of like that. Um, another thing is uh, another thing is uh, Missouri, who's been playing very well the past couple of weeks, playing Vandy at Vandy. Um, again, you know, a road favorite, um, laying uh, nine and a half points. Huh. Um, it seems <coughs> like it's, it, it'd be a good play. Um, probably one of the shockers for me this year. Um, UAB, our friend Joel Dixon, yeah. the punter from Joel Dixon. We had him on the show before. Yes. Seven and three this year. I mistakenly picked them to win one game. Well, this is a program that was dead. Literally dead. Yeah. I mean, they were not on life support. It, it, the program was dead. It had ended. They had it ceased to exist. Right. And basically through letter writing and through pressure and through uh, some new sponsors, through alumni, it's back. And they're seven and three. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. It's great, but they play Florida this week, which is going to be tough. They're getting eleven points. Florida's just really not a good team. They've Florida the games that they won, a lot of them had just been by sheer luck. Yeah, I, I mean this is not a team that they've gone out and just overwhelmed. Right. Uh, you know, so um, I would love to see UAB finish out strong. Oh, I would. The, I would love to see them win. They're yeah. already a bowl eligible, so they'll be going somewhere. Definitely, but to go in at eight and three. Yeah. It's just a feel-good story for this program. Yep. You know, for the people that believed in it and who stuck around, and also for the students and the kids that just didn't bail. Yes. You know, immediately say, "No, nah, I want my release, and I'm going elsewhere." Uh, a number of them did, and they had the right to do so. Right. But this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so the the last thing I want to do is, you know, talking about this particular week. I think San Diego State wins against Reno um, at home. They're laying 16 points. I think that they win that game by 30 plus. I mean, that's just, you know, obviously my opinion, but I think that should happen. <laughs> um, I want to give my – okay, so a few weeks back, I actually took um, Oklahoma to win it all. Mm -hmm. And this was before – it was right after they lost to uh, Iowa State. And I looked at it, and I couldn't believe it was 15-1. to 1. I'm actually laying it out right now. Oklahoma is going to win the, the, the whole big dance this year. Yeah. The national championship. They're going to win the national championship. I think uh, on top of that, they're going to get the little parlay with Baker Mayfield winning the the Heisman, and we're and he's going to go first round of pick. Well, he's a shoe in um, to the Giants. Yeah. You're, do you, so did you get all that? To the Giants. This is what's going to happen. You heard it here first. They win the national championship. He wins the Heisman. He and goes, he to, goes the to the Giants. Goes to the Giants. Heard it here first. Yeah. You know there were rumblings out of New York. At least when Bob McAdoo said something, yep. there were rumblings out of New York that uh, there was a possibility of Manning going to Jacksonville. Um, I the reason being is that the old coach from uh, the Giants mm -hmm. isn't he currently working in the Jacksonville? He does. He works in Jacksonville, right? Yeah. And he, of course, you know, uh, he, you know. They obviously has a relationship with Eli Manning. Yep. But is do you really think that Eli is done in New York? I, I do. I think that um, the writing's on the wall. He's in it. He's coming up on the, is the final years of his contract. He will not be renewed by the Giants. Well, we know that. I don't think McAdoo will be back either. I was surprised he made it past this week. To well, be honest with you, the word was that ha he, had he lost to the Giants, which he did. I mean, to the 49ers, the which he did. He would be fired by Monday. He was going to be fired, and so it was like the clock was sort of ticking from, yep. I guess, the flight from San Francisco back to New York. 
but by Monday morning he was still there, and of course, and so now it's like, but they, I think they have at Kansas City. Yep. I mean, it's not getting any easier for these guys. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is actually, um, that was one of the games I was shocked by. The, the people are actually betting the Giants. With Andy Reid coming off, the, he has the, literally the best record coming off a of bye week. And he, they're betting the Giants? And they're betting the Giants. So I don't know if the public knows something or these are like the the Sharps know something. There's no way I'd put my money on the Giants. I um, if To me, if uh, the Giants were going to show something, it would have been coming out of the bye against the Rams, and we know how that went. Yep. Well, we've just got about 30 seconds left. I'd like to thank Bob Allen of Bob Allen Golf for joining us. Uh, you know, Be sure to go onto his website, boballengolf.com, and register, uh, and then you'll be getting the advisement of the upcoming opening in mid-December. And, of course, Jeff, as always, thanks, man, for coming in. Of course, thanks man, for of making course. a great John Stiles, the owner. Thanks for making this always a great show. Join us next week. Southern Nevada Sports News coming to you from WWDBTV.com. See you next week. God bless.